all my wonderful people. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a great Saturday so far. I'm Kyle Winder as always, one and only representative of wonderfullife.com here to let you know that we have an amazing, amazing, beautiful, nice two inch thick prime ribeye from our local butcher shop, Lenny Silverton Market in Silverton, New Jersey, Ocean County as always. And we're gonna be doing a nice reverse sear we're gonna be smoking up the ribeye on our Camp Chef Woodwind 20 from the last giveaway. And we're gonna be giving you a little demo on how to smoke a steak to perfect temperature, reverse here to get that nice crust after the fact. And we're also gonna be doing a little experiment on a nice low temperature at 165 with a high smoke setting of 10, which is really, really nice and easy on this smoker right behind us. So on our Camp Chef Woodwind, which most pellet smokers of this design, especially our new Traeger giveaway, you're all gonna have some things in common, just like your hopper. Got your nice smoking area and everything. And so like I was saying before, we're gonna be doing a little experiment. We have it set to 165, so it's as low as it's gonna go, but because it has the smoke setting of 10, the smoke temperature is gonna bring it up a little bit than the actual set temperature, which is fine though. So as long as it stays under 200, it's gonna give us the time to go nice, low, and slow. We're gonna bring it up to 135, so for a perfect medium rare, and then we're gonna sear it really, really nice high temp after the fact. So on the 25th of July, Kyle decided to smoke a ribeye. And as cheesy as that was, let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful marble on up steak. So as you can see, we've got all that beautiful intramuscular fat going on in there. Let's go ahead, get this beautiful piece seasoned on up. Say beautiful. one more goddamn time. So now to make our rub, we're gonna do some fresh black pepper, some fresh pink clam salt, and then we're gonna do some fresh olive oil. You gotta say Earl, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right start things off, we're going to go ahead and grind some fresh black pepper. Next, we're going to get some salt going on in there. We're also going to get some fresh garlic ground or powdered and then some onion powder in there as well. Just like before, just about equal parts. And then we're gonna drown it in some olive oil, Earl, just enough to get it into a paste. And then we're gonna smear that all over the steak. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead, mix that all on up. We're gonna go ahead, drop that in a nice bag, get it marinated for just about 20 minutes, preferably overnight if you can, but if not, this is nothing wrong with doing it this way. And when you're marinating it, make sure you get all of the excess air out of the bag. It's gonna help it marinate faster. And after squeezing that out, we're gonna go ahead and seal this up. If I can figure out how to close this bag, there we go. And then we're gonna shake this all around and we're gonna work it into the steak inside the bag. Flipping it, rolling the steak around as we need to. And then after that, we're gonna let it sit, marinate, and then we're gonna get it on the smoker. So we have the steak sitting in the marinade for just about 30 minutes or so. Let's go ahead, get it on that smoker, let it come to temperature, nice low and slow, and then we'll give it a sear after the fact, and then we're gonna enjoy that bad Larry. Smoker's up to temperature, coming down, seeing it just absolutely roll smoke, it's never a better sight. So like I was saying before, the smoker is up to temperature. So we've got steak marinated, ready to go. So let's go ahead, slap it down, let it smoke, and then we'll give it that reverse here that I was telling you guys about before. We're gonna see how the low smoke, I mean, sorry, the low temperature, high smoke experiment comes out. All right, so even if you do this all the time, every now and then you'll forget to do one little step like I did. And so having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the meat thermometer that I accidentally forgot to. 
I almost forgot the most important part of these new style of smokers because this is, in my opinion, the ultimate peace of mind when it comes to doing this stuff. And so what we're going to do is slide that into the middle as always. And now it's going to be able to tell us what it's doing. Oh, all right. And so if you're like me and you like to have everything next to the grill prepped, ready to go, make things nice and easy. One little tip I like to recommend, and I just found out the hard way, is if you're going to be smoking something for possibly longer than 20 minutes or so, don't leave your cutting board outside. I just walked outside when I put the meat thermometer into it. And it's safe to say I came out to a nice little fruity pebbles pile of uh, bird turds on and everything. And so even safer to say, I'm gonna go put that in the dishwasher with a lot of bleach, three extra of those little Tide Pod things or something. And we're gonna give that a hell of a cleaning. Taking a look at our app that the smoke provides, which the trigger has as well. You can see that the internal temperature is just about at 100. So we're gonna take this, crank it on up to 240, and we're gonna let it develop a nice outside crust. And as you can see, we still have the smoke set to 10 to get that nice hickory flavor developed on in there. With only about 30, 35 degrees left, let's go ahead, check out how it's looking. Now, I don't know if you guys are used to smoke steaks, but that is looking absolutely perfect. See how we're starting to get the nice red tint to it. It's starting to get that leatherish color, which is perfect. That's where it's really gonna taste nice and smoky. You can see the really nice bone marrow juice is starting to come out on top. We got the fat cap on the bottom, so that's getting nice and rendered out. And I've got the thickest part just about over the burn box. And so that's definitely gonna be nice and rendered by the time this is done. And don't forget either, if you're gonna be reverse searing it, make sure you have a nice cast iron pan that's ready to go. Well seasoned, non-stick and everything. As you can see how glossy it is, this one is perfect. I'm gonna take this, gonna get it on the top rack in the smoker and we're gonna let it slowly come up to temperature to expedite that heating up itself when we go to sear it. So the steak just hit the magic number. So let's go ahead, get it off. Just bear with me. I'm gonna be rocking the camera with the left hand. Accidentally throwing the tongs around. Now that is ridiculous looking. All right, let's get that off. Let it hang on out. Rest for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna give it a nice hard sear on both sides to wrap it up. Let's see how it came out. We're gonna use our nice Dow Strong Shadow Series boning knife to knock this bone off. So it's gonna come right in front of it. I'm just gonna scrape that nice and clean just so we're not wasting anything. Especially knowing that we just smoked this for two hours. But already looking at things, I think we're in pretty decent shape. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Plenty of juices. Now, I really don't like to say perfect that much, even though I say it in every other sentence in these videos, but it's only because I surprise myself all the time. 
that's mint. Mmm. Wow. We've got hickory. Nice beef. Really nice beef flavor. The juices just keep flowing. This is insane. Highly recommend it. Cooked it just about two and a half hours. We brought it to 130. Pulled it, let it rest 10 minutes. Mmm. Yeah. And then from there, reverse seared it, done a nice cast iron pan that we got ripping hot. Seared it about two, three minutes each side. And then as you can see, we let it set for another 10 minutes, sliced it up. And again, I would say that's near perfect. And I almost forgot to show the money piece, which is the ribeye cap. And it is as tender as mother's loving right there. Barely even pulling it, just going nice and slow for the video. Cap is always where it's at. Thanks for coming on down, watching the video. Make sure you're subscribed so you stay current with everything that we have going on. Hit that bell so you get the notifications just in case you miss the drop. And also, don't forget, go to wonderfullife.com to be able to enter yourself in to win a brand new Traeger. And don't forget, in these weird times, go out there, put your best foot forward, keep your head up, and always stay wonderful.